Council conducted a three month trial, so changing the 2p to 1p in centre parking, and uh, Council recommended that uh, it continues with the 1p. On top of that, Council has also uh, introduced a permit parking in some of our 8p parks, so a seven day parking permit. Two of those are at a discounted rate, they're being Harry's and Water Street and Station Street. Council also introduced a, uh, a discount period over our 3p central car park, so essentially at the moment it's a 3p car park, $1.80 an hour. Council will introduce a discount period of three for three. Essentially, it's a it's a dollar an hour, so for a maximum of three hours. So if you stay for one hour, it's a dollar. Stay for two hours, it's two dollars. If you stay for three hours, it's it's three dollars. So we hope that that encourages more people to utilise that car park. It's uh, it's not far from uh, a majority of businesses around our CBD. We've loved the trial actually because we found that all of this street, or well not all of it, but the majority of the street was filled with um, a lot of people, employees who worked in the near vicinity and they'd come down and swap and move and, and now they've had to sort of, I guess, move elsewhere. So it's freed up a lot of space for our customers and now when our customers come in, they can get a park. So we did see an initial drop um, and as everyone, all of a sudden the street was empty and it was like, oh my goodness, and it really did hit our trade. Um, but now it's back. People know they can get a park and yeah, it's back and, and council have been really helpful with that. You know, there's plenty of parking around us. There's Grand Central, there's an Ann Street, there's down at the bus service. Uh, you know, taking a walk in Toowoomba is not that bad a thing. You know, it's a beautiful city. Um, the gardens are always looking great. Please come to the CBD, it, there's plenty of parking. I think the council have made a great initiative. I think they're really proactive on um, reacting to people saying that there was no parking in the CBD. I think the moves have been um, really prompt and uh, the communication from the council has been great. And also we looked at other possibilities of ways of introducing any further 3P parking in the northern end of Ruffin Street. After talking to a lot of businesses down in that particular end of town, their concern was that they don't have as many options for 3Ps as potentially the other parts of the CBD. Now we've already introduced 12 3P parks in Bowen Street, so potentially we're just going to have a look and see if, if there are any further options. But the key thing I do want to emphasise is, is that we did a lot of face-to-face -face consultations. So, as I said, literally walking the streets and having our team talk to business owners and ask them exactly their thoughts. I think that played a key role in deciding what the best outcome is for our CBD moving forward.